Yeah, alright guys, how are you guys doing? Right. <laughs> I tell you, this place gets weird and weird and weirder. Right. Woolly pigs. Yeah, I know. Is that a Mandela effect or we just never heard of it before? Now, what it says here yeah, is called a uh, Mang. Mangalaka. Ha. Man in his. Oh, yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah, that's terrific, isn't it? But I encountered this a while ago when I was on uh, one of my little. Uh, Breaks in the countryside, and I was staring at it, and it's like something's not quite right about that sheep. I thought, and I thought, can it be right? I mean, sure enough, there it was running around in its little pen, so to speak. Blue, oh, wait, no, sorry. A woolly pig running around. Yeah, right. Now, now I've heard about man damn animals and all that stuff, you know, popping up all over the place, new ones, and about me being around since mid 19th century. Believe it or not. Man Gallica or Gallica grows a thick woolly coat similar of a sheep. Mm. How many of you guys have you heard about this? Woolly pigs. Woolly pigs? Definitely not. Never heard of it until, uh, until last year, to be honest. I did do another video on it uh, a month ago but again I was on a little break in the countryside recently and I saw them again and I thought Ugh. you know what I mean it's like I also another saw seen a bit of sheep as well blue sheep I and mean, it wasn't tied out or nothing like that it was like a coral Cookie colour blue, you know what I mean? You know, that sort of cold blue, you know, it was that sort of colour. And and I'm just well, I was puzzled by it. You know, woolly sheep. <laughs> Sorry, woolly pigs. Sorry. Got confused there for a second. Because the only thing that gives it a dead giveaway is a little snout on its forehead, you know, in its like I almost didn't spot it the first time around. You know, my partner just uh, said, Oh, yeah, imagining it. Go away, man. She keeps stunning me. But, and it was like, when she saw it herself, she was like, Huh? You're yeah, right? Of course. She says, Why does it does uh, crazy stuff follow, follow you around for? I said, I don't know. It just does, I see. But nevertheless, I think she's had an experience and she didn't realise it. And I think that's what half of people actually do right now when they discover a new species or something. And they say, oh, I've never seen that one before. And they just carry on, you know. But instead of doing that, you know, instead of researching and what they're seeing, they just go off on their merry way, don't they? Well, me, I'm I'm more of a curious person, and I have to find out what it is before I can put my mind at ease, so to speak. But Woody Pigs is a strange one, I have to say. I've never come across this one in pre-2018, that's for sure. I have no memory be before that year of this particular species. 
and all over the UK now. I'm so I do apologise for that one if you ever see them. You know, going on your local farm and then all of a sudden you see a woolly pig just trotting around, you know, that sort of stuff. I do apologise. But <laughs> it just looks so weird when you see it. It's just with a weird species now that you just can't be too sure of. But Woolly Pigs is most definitely a new one and I have a count of people who say that they raise them, yes, but yeah, raise them and breed them, all that stuff. Well, why haven't I not heard about these until last year, I wonder? Huh. A man damned animal, do you think? Quite possibly, but I don't know. I'm not an expert on farm life whatsoever, but I know a strange oddity when I see one. You know, it's another point I like to make as well. The Natural History Museum up in, up in uh, town has not got these in. Now they've got all the other types of sheep in, pigs, you know, you know, you know, like stuffed animals type thing. You know, like on displays and all that. You know, like with the, on on the natural history part. But they have not got this species on display anywhere. <laughs> hmm. Isn't that an uh, intriguing situation? They've got every single other situational animal gone, but no. Woolly pigs. Isn't that interesting? But still, like I say, I bet if you go to the Natural History Museum, this little fella will not appear anywhere in the history archives. I bet you rock rotten dollar it doesn't. But sure enough, there's plenty of videos on it, plenty of information on him, stuff like that. But, like I said, I encountered him last year, I believe it was in the summer, when I was away on a holiday vacation for a couple of days in the countryside. And there he was, just tittering around in the field. You know, that sort of stuff. But hey, that's just me. <laughs> Next thing you know, we're going to see an eight-legged sheep or bully pig or whatever. You know, but hey... That's just this multiverse life that we live in, isn't it? But this is Max signing it off. <laughs> One <of> pigs, man. <laughs> oh, this is getting really bizarre.